All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to program a memory into the Yaesu FT70 handheld. It's very simple and very easy. So let's get started. Now, like all Yaesu radios or ham radios in general, um, a lot of these rules apply. So um, I'm just going to go through what you need to have set up before you program the memory. Since we're going to be programming a repeater in this instance, we want to make sure we have the frequency of the repeater, the receive frequency or output um, on the VFO, and you want to always do it on the VFO. You can't do it in memory because it won't work. So that's set. We have the receive frequency of the repeater. Now let me zoom up here a little bit so you can see. We gotta make sure that the repeater shift is on and enabled. Um, in this case, it's negative shift, so we are good on that part. And Next thing you want to do is make sure the squelch type is activated. And in this instance, it would be tone squelch. So make sure that's enabled. Um, and it is. So press function to save. And then once that is enabled, that will allow you to um, pick the specific tone code or CTCSS tone. Whoops. Try that again. So you want to go to code by pressing function and code, and then um, I already have that correct tone in there, which is 100 hertz. We are set on that part. So now we have everything set up to program. Now what you want to do is next press and hold the V slash M button at the bottom here. And then it will show up the next available um, slot in the memory storage that's available. Um, so that would be channel eight in this instance. And then once that's uh, clear, you're gonna press VM again. Don't hold it, just press it. And then this is where you would um, input a memory tag like a like a word or you know name of the repeater or whatever you want to call this memory. In this instance, we're not going to do that since um, I like most of my memories to show up as the frequency, just um, just my preference. But once you have that set up, you can um, hold VM one more time, and we are set. Um, you can also just press VM, um, it's probably why it didn't show up, um, that the memory was in, but we have the memory in there, as you can see. So you can either press VM one last time to get it in there or press and hold either way. It's still in. So that's the simple, easy, fast way to program a memory into this radio, the ASU FT70. Um, hope this helps and uh, thanks for watching.